anybody who grew up around here in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s has more than likely heard the story of Charlie No Face. Uh, he, he was a guy who used to walk the Coppola New Galilee Road between Coppola and Atana New Galilee in the northern part of Beaver County uh, at night. And uh, the interesting thing about him, he was terribly disfigured. Uh, and his uh, face was scary. So people would go out there um, for generations in vehicles to, to look at this guy. Uh, but the problem is nobody ever really knew how he got to be the way he got to be. Uh, well, his face looked like it was melted. Um, he didn't have eyes. His, uh, his lips were badly, horribly scarred. Uh, and he walked that road at night, which was real spooky, very spooky, and it, it started this big legend that um, it passed all around western Pennsylvania, and people started calling him Charlie No-Face. He was referred to as Charlie No-Face here in Beaver County. But outside of Beaver County, places like the Pittsburgh area, West Virginia and Ohio, they, called, they knew him as the Green Man. Charlie No-Face was Raymond Robinson. Uh, he lived in Big Beaver Borough uh, his entire life, as far as I can tell, uh, and, um, and he lived with family members. And what happened uh, in the summer of 1919, when he was eight years old, he and several friends were horsing around uh, a, an old trolley bridge that used to span Wallace Run, which is the dividing line between Beaver Falls and Big Beaver. Uh, they saw a bird's nest up on the top of this bridge and uh, being curious boys they decided well we're going to go look and see what's in that bird's nest and Ray Robinson happened to be the one uh, who volunteered to climb up there and look in the nest. Well when he got up there or on his way up he came into contract, contact with uh, high voltage uh, on the bridge and was terribly burned. Um, in fact, uh, the newspapers at the time gave him no chance for survival, but he lived miraculously and uh, in fact the doctors called it a miracle and uh, he, uh, despite his injuries, he, uh, was, he lived for a long time after that. Uh, and at some point, nobody really knows when, he began walking the uh, Coppola New Galilee Road at night. A relative that I interviewed uh, told me that he probably wanted to go out to get exercise for one thing and uh, secondly probably to meet people because the only people he was ever around were his relatives and so he probably liked to go out and talk to new people that he met along that road and it, uh, as he started walking the road people saw him and they thought it unusual his appearance and so they told a friend, and a friend told a friend, and this story spread out all over the place uh, until uh, eventually you had parades of cars going out that road uh, on the weekends. And people that I've interviewed told me that, uh, especially after high school football games in the fall, uh, they'd head off on out uh, to see Charlie. I know that at least parts of five decades he walked that road and people wrote what rode out there uh, to meet him. His story spread. Uh, people have written things about him. He's been in, he's been in magazines dedicated to the paranormal. Uh, I know a college professor wrote a poem about him. Uh, he's uh, the subject of talk on internet chat rooms right now. Uh, at least one play has been written about him, or he's been a character in a play. Uh, apparently it was a local person. Uh, and uh, so this story is just out there, but nobody really knew how he came to be injured the way he, uh, he was. And the sad thing is he lived like this for until he was uh, 77 years old. Uh, in the later years of his life, at some point he quit walking the road, and I believe it was the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, shortly after that, he went into the, uh, what used to be the Beaver Valley Geriatric Center, now Friendship Ridge. A nursing home owned by Beaver County and he died there in 1985 and he's buried in Grandview Cemetery uh, and ironically a boy by the name of Robert Littell who was killed uh, after being burned on the same bridge as Ray Robinson nine months before Ray Robinson is buried in the same cemetery and uh, their graves uh, today overlook the site of the old uh, Wallace Run trolley bridge 
where they were hurt. Uh, if you have any stories or memories you'd like to share about uh, Raymond Robinson, you can post it on our blog that you'll find here on our website, www.timesonline.com.